Hello and welcome to Iowa Speedway here in the ARCA car. We are running out to practice here real quick because track position is going to be very important, I think. Um, hold on, the volume's a little loud. There we go. Ready to go? Alright, so uh, track position is going to be very, very important here. Because green, green, green. if I know Iowa, <laughs> okay. in this car and, well, several other cars, it gets really difficult to pass here. So, I'm going to try to have a good qualifying run. Fight the looseness. Whoa, almost got up into the wall. Uh, took it a little bit too easy in 3 and 4 there. Maybe I can push a little harder this lap. Well, 23.8 is not bad though. I can live with that. If that's what we end up with. Oh, could have been more aggressive there too. Oh well. We'll take our 23.8 and run with it, I guess. We have dropped down to third. Not too bad. Looks like we're ahead of a nice handful of people. Ooh, yeah, lots of people already have laps logged. Nice. So, happy about that. Like I said, definitely gonna wanna be in front of people because when the tires start losing grip, it gets really tough to get around people on the low side. Dang, look at that, 23.6, that's nice. Um, you kind of have to start doing slide job things, and I hate doing that, because I'm bad at it. <laughs> and it's very scary. So, uh, I think the idea here is going to be try to get some track position early, and then should be able to hold on to it by running higher line. Looks like you can kind of hit this notorious bump up here and kind of survive a little bit basically missed it there, but uh, it still does hit you pretty hard. Harder than that, usually, but uh, it seems like you can drive through it a little bit better than, say, the B car or something. And so as the tires get worn, it looks like you kind of end up running a little higher and you can hold off people real uh, with a lot of success by running higher up because you get such a massive run off the corners. And that's why it gets so tough to pass. So, I'm gonna try to take advantage of the fresh tires to get around people, probably on the bottom. Get some track position. And then once we kind of find our spot, then focus on long-term speed. Uh, I'm gonna put the brakes all the way back, as I usually do. And uh, hopefully not wear the tires off too bad. Try to be pretty good on the throttle, get this thing rotating. And drive through the loose a little bit so we're on the right rear. But, gonna go ahead and park it. I imagine we probably don't have much more time left. Seems like everyone's qualifying. Uh, we are down to fourth now. That's okay. I'm beat by uh, ten, uh, one, one thousandth of a second right there. That's funny. Just barely got pushed to the outside lane. We are waiting. Oh, we got a guy not in here. That stinks. And this guy just got back in after losing connection. Did the other guy lose connection? No, he just left. Weird. Not sure what that's about, but I guess we're going to be waiting for the full, the full uh, 48 seconds that are left. So, I've chosen 12 to 1. I think that should be okay. I definitely want a little bit lower than, say, 14 to 1. So that way I can catch the slides a little bit when it's loose on exit and I'm gonna have my brake bias all the way down and I'm, if I remember I'm gonna put it all the way down in the car too um, so that way once it gets later in the run and well I should probably do it early in the run too use the brakes to get it rotated instead of my steering wheel for long-term success and then of course my just personal preference negative 15 uh, in the ARCA car it's just how I prefer it and we got eight seconds sweet so, game plan, get track position, and then hopefully keep track position. <laughs> we'll see how it works. Um, 
around lap 35 or so, we're probably going to get disconnected because that's my luck. This internet's always unreliable where I am currently, but that's okay. Uh, if it stays like not much worse than that, I guess we're okay. The ping seems fine. It's this Q bar you gotta worry about. Like, you don't want that moving either, but I just don't want this bar moving very much because that's how you know you're blinking. You can still blink without knowing about Mike. it. Jack. All right, P4 is where we got. No idea how I got 23.6. Probably really good at fighting the looseness. Thank you. Session. Last lap. Okay, and I'm gonna remember to do this. All right. That's just about that. There's actually a. I haven't really looked into this at all. But I think Nick mentioned it before. Maybe like there's a bug rumor going around like I don't know if it's proven or not or whatever but like cars run looser if you have a lower brake bias even if you're not using the brakes or something like that I haven't looked into it it was just like an offhanded comment I heard and I'm like whoa really maybe that's why I like it back so much <laughs> and I didn't realize it I kind of hope that's not the case because then it feels like I've been cheating <laughs> without knowing like oh yeah my car is turning better but I'm not doing it because there's apparently some rumor of a bug. We've got documented history. That's how I always like to put the brake bias in the Arca car, at least, all the way down. So, if it is helping us in that way, um, okay. <laughs> Great. I hope they fix it because that's not how it's supposed to be. I don't really want an uh, unfair advantage. I just want my car to turn better on entry. <laughs> so, I don't know about that. I haven't looked into it, like I said, but that's interesting. So, we'll have a good view of the leader, love that. Which will be behind P2, so they gotta get a good jump as well for us to have any success there. Is this a, uh, is this a first gear start? Ooh, yeah, that feels like a first gear start. Looks like we have a lot of RPM room. Interesting. Yeah, I'm thinking first gear start. So I did my uh, check for tire spin. I always like to check. Still had nightmares of one time when I was in the lead in a race and I had tire spin and uh, looped myself. <laughs> that was many, many months ago. But I still have nightmares. <laughs> I think it was like a Darlington race in the trucks or something. I was in the lead as a tire strategy on a restart and then I just hit the gas and just completely spun out to the inside. <laughs> it was so embarrassing. But, uh, hey, now I check for uh, tire spin every time. So I uh, improved. And hopefully uh, that means I have prevented other instances where that might have happened. I don't know. Who's, who's to say? If I hadn't done that then, it would have been a different time, maybe. But coming to green here for a hopefully fun race at Iowa. Get ready, going green. Trying to get a good view of this leader. Slowing down a little bit. Not a good jump by the guy in front of me. So Keep Tim's going to get to our inside. That's not my favorite. Keep high. Stay high to the car on the right side. Stay high with the car on the low side. Clear inside. Hmm. Whoa, where's that guy going? <laughs> inside. You're in the middle. Three wide. Clear. Two wide. That was scary. Clear inside. The next car's the leader. Oh my gosh. Three wide up the middle. Not really what I wanted to do there, but it sure is what happened. Oof. That's loose. Okay, you're in P2. Peter's just done it. 24.2. Seems to be running up higher. 
feel like I might... Is that going to be bad on the right front if I do that, though? It's going to be bad on the right front if you hit the wall. I'll tell you that. Ooh. I had to catch it there. And I got to stop. Apparently, I am not capable of doing that. Who see already? It's Clear. tough to pass. Someone's on the outside. The car inside. Clear inside. So five got to the wall, but lives to see another day. I gotta remember to turn with the throttle and with the brakes. And remember to stay disciplined. Okay, get into the rhythm here. Remember your training. <laughs> Just got about 20 minutes of practice beforehand. Just got home after uh, being away for a few days. First time I've been able to race this week on Saturday. So I was a little out of practice. I mean, I'm still out of practice to, to at this very moment. But getting back into the swing of it. Love that pull to the left with that brake bias. Feels good. B2. Mm. Mm. All right, car's getting more stable. It's gonna turn to tightness though for too long, so enjoy it while I can. Outside. Not trying to pass, I'm just running my line. Outside. Kind of missed my mark there. I think I was worried about that uh, <laughs> guy going around me trying to. Clear outside. Car outside. Clear high. Hmm. I'm gonna get past on the outside. I think the inside line is leaving me. It's the point in the race I was telling you about where can't be on the inside anymore. The uh, high line has officially become dominant, I do believe you. Uh, I'm not trying to block him. Outside. Still there. Clear. Okay. Inside. Clear. Now I gotta figure out this higher line, I guess. Kind of a middle there. I'm still afraid of that bump, even though you can kind of drive through it. Trying to keep the car on edge. Ooh, number five got tight. Gotta go for it here. Keep low. Outside, clear. Slide jump! Inside. <laughs> He's gonna cross me over. Hot dang. Didn't work. Open okay, Iowa. We're passing. It's not an option. Kidding. I'm just not skilled enough. It is an option, <laughs> but slide job did not work there. You've just done it. 
my bumper back there. <laughs> sweaty. Make me extra sweaty watching this guy in my mirror get closer and closer. Not very much room between us. Looks like I can be a little more aggressive on throttle than I have been. Now that the uh, car is not as loose anymore, I can get on the throttle a little bit more. Though the question is if I want to so much. I'm not sure if doing so is going to be hard on my right front or if it's going to help get it on more on the right rear. You're just going to have to see how the car feels aside from there. But uh, I do believe we're at the stage of the race where the passing is going to be very difficult. And the 5 has decided a uh, slide job is the way to try to do it. That's going to slow both of them down a whole lot as he turns him on the straightaway. Well, I just took the straightaway she came. I got loose turning left to get around that, and I almost spun myself. Well, that's how we got P2. For now. Oh my god. That's disgraceful. That's unbelievable. I cannot believe I just saw that. I cannot believe I just saw that in the year 2022. That is like the most childish, despicable thing I've seen on iRacing in a long time. Wow. Anyway, at least we weren't affected by that. In fact, I'm glad the 5 wasn't either, even though the 5 did wreck the dude. What he did in attempt of retaliation was 100 times worse. So, that's, don't do that. <laughs> Hey kids, do you want to be a sim racer? Look here at the number three. Don't be him. It's like a 1950s infomercial. <laughs> or info, what do you call it? Like a learning time segment? Uh, Crusty, I'm good though. It looks like we're uh, kind of pulling out a little bit in front, some of the guys behind. Uh oh, that feels real tight. <laughs> the car felt really tight there. Not liking that feeling. Let's uh, try to get on the brakes a little bit more, slow it down a little bit more for the corner. Okay, we're halfway to the finish. All right, that was the number three that did that too. They had to have had done enough racing at this point to get to that level, to know better. That's just embarrassing for the service, to have people like that. Go play uh, NASCAR Ignition if you're gonna do that. The AI basically does that already anyway in that game, so it'll fit right in. Hey, that cut down line was kind of fun. Am I gonna lose the exit though? I really feel like it. Let's see if there's anything down here. Look who we found. Five found the wall. That lap was at 24.9. Okay. Uh, okay. K3, I can't uh, reply for the chat right now, but uh, whether he wrecked you or not, that's unacceptable what you did in retaliation. It's a hundred times worse. That 
lap time was 25.1. I'm not even going to talk about it anymore. I'm a little busy. That got me tight. Uh, I'm going to think about racing instead of... Let's go. I don't know why he's messaging me. Like... <laughs> he's got to prove to me that... No, I'm a good boy. Really. I'm not bad. <laughs> like, dude. I mean, Delta I racing when I send that protest in. And I hope half the field goes ahead and does that too, because that's. Well, that's just plain silly, you know? I swear, like, the last, like, three, four races I've done, someone's done something really stupid that I've had to waste my time protesting for. The captain, Smith, behind is now. But that's definitely the worst I've seen in a while. I'm going back to the outside. I thought the uh, little cut down line was working for a minute, but I don't like so much anymore. Maybe even one and two. Yes, today I'm the I racing police and tell people what they do is not acceptable. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's a hot take, but stopping on the track and trying to snipe someone from the lead. Probably against the sporting code? I don't know. I haven't checked in a while. Something tells me I'm not supposed to do that. Your last lap time was at 25 call, it a, call it a hunch. I'm going to hit the wall. Oh, got really tight there. <laughs> Wasn't exactly close to hitting the wall, but that's what my car was trying to tell me. It says, hey, I'm going to hit the wall now. And I'm like, no, you're not. And it said, okay, fine, but I'm going to try anyway. And then it said, be quiet and racing. So we got some lap traffic coming up. That's potentially interesting. I think I've had enough interesting for this race, though. I wish I could put the uh, brake bias back even more. Spin this thing out on entry. <laughs> At least it'd be turning. It's not trying to do that so much anymore. That was a little dramatic. I don't know if he needed to do all that to get around him. That looked like me getting around the accident. Or it'd be a almost accident. Got him in a weird sound. This one's coming. They've saved tires much better than I have. <laughs> That is to say, they've probably saved tires, and I have not saved tires. Although I don't think I did terrible. I could have done much worse with this, and it kind of was the game plan anyway. To worry about track position, first and foremost. I'm going to make it hard on them. Clear inside. Car inside. Stay high to the car on the low side. Hi. It's close enough to the end of the race. Clear. It's, uh, it's worth fighting for. Oh, what are fighting for? It's a little Mulan for you. I wonder if I like actually 100% focused on a race if I would be better instead of singing Mulan. Stay high. Stay high. Probably would. I could take some brain power to like remember the melody and start singing it a little bit, you know? Although I do feel like uh, it helps just talk at myself. 
kind of eases, eases the nerves a little bit when I'm just yapping about garbage. So maybe I'll just keep yapping about garbage. Holding them off. I've been getting faster. Seven's having a rough one. He started to our inside, if I remember correctly. Go high, the car on the low side. Okay, Colton. Lap time's pretty consistent. That lap was a 25.2. Still there, we'll go. <laughs> this guy has to be furious with me. He spent this whole race saving tires, probably. Probably felt he could go catch the leader. Still there, hold your line. And now I am just the biggest thorn in his side. <laughs> he might not even be able to get past me. This is exactly why. I said track position is going to be important. A spot worth fighting for. <laughs> P2. Spot worth fighting for. It's my remix. This is a goofy video. If I, if I was to do that a couple more times, go ahead. Do you think they knocked their wheels out of alignment? Two laps left. We're on for a podium here. I should be using this high side more often. Uh, turns one and two, I say, as it get tight. That might be the one's chance. He's gonna dive it in here because he sees an opportunity. Still there. Clear inside. One flag. Stay smooth. What? All right, we're gonna have to try to cross him over. I'm just gonna give him one shot. It's not gonna work. <laughs> Bad time for that to happen. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Outside, clear. Good win there, Scotty. Good race, Colton. That was uh, tough and fun. Well done, Colton. <laughs> I think I think it's so far. There's the flag. It's over. Yeah, good race. I know you probably hate me for holding you up so long, but uh, it was fun. <laughs> oh no, you're good. I mean, that's kind of what you're supposed to do. <laughs> Good race. <laughs> Alright. He wasn't too mad. I didn't think he'd actually be mad mad, but... <laughs> I know he's probably thinking, like, man, if I didn't have to deal with him, I might have caught the leader. But, uh... Alright, P3, I'm happy with that. I will take it. Ready to see something scary? 64, 85... <laughs> Yep, that's pretty good, but it worked. Track position, I think that's the uh, the key here. Of course, I am the number two car, and I don't know what it's first race this week. I've never seen anybody do the top one and do like you were there, Scott. That was pretty cool to see. Mm -mm -mm. Let the five respond if he needs to. Yeah, I was surprised uh, being able to get that to work. Usually that bump kills it, but it seems like you can kind of drive through it in this car. Yeah, I was, uh, I've never seen anybody do that. That was, yeah, nice. I remember that. Yeah. I kind of discovered that a little bit later in the run, as you saw. It's kind of working, so. All right, let's uh, see the incidents, including one particularly interesting one very near the start. All right. What we have? If I've hit the wall a number of times, I was kind of hoping he would have to pay for that at some point. Maybe messing up his car, but I guess there were light enough taps that didn't do anything too much. <laughs> Excuse me. Got to blink out. Whoop! What? What am I missing? Oh my god! He was blinking out enough. I think that uh, he was causing chaos. But I think something happened in front of him, too. We got someone loose. Okay, yeah. We got this guy up here getting loose. That's just cold tires on a track that's very tough to control. That'll happen. 
And then... Oh, I see what happened to Joseph. Oh, no, that wasn't good. We were actually, we were actually in Discord together and just left. Yeah, you see him stopped on the track like that? Yeah, I understand you being mad because that was, that was kind of bad. There was a little nick of there, but he definitely got turned. Um, but what he did to retaliate, that, no, that wasn't cool. Yeah, I haven't looked at the initial incident yet, but I don't think anything justifies doing that because you can like take out half the field <laughs> doing that garbage, man. Yeah. I don't know, though. I have my bad days, too, so. <laughs> oh, we work together. He can he can have a temporary times. <laughs> well, maybe talk to him about that one. He's trying to kill someone out here, you know? <laughs> oh, I'm going to record it and show it to everyone in our room. <laughs> oh, well, it ended up not actually doing anything to anyone, I don't think, but... Uh... Like I said, I haven't looked at it yet, but oh well. Have a good one, though. That was a fun race. Yeah, sure was. <laughs> Interesting. He knows the guy. Yeah, that was weird. That was weird for sure. So, I don't know what happened here. We got the guy blinking really bad up here, and I think he causes a wreck because of it. Like, he's lifting off. I think he's not able to see people. And then we got that spin out. Guess that's that. A little bit of wall, internal of hard. So what happened here? Yeah, that's night code, man. That's he didn't even do that on purpose. I mean, the fire was a little bit all over the place to begin with. I mean, you saw how many times he hit the wall. Like you're going off, you're hitting the throttle hard on exit here, and it's it gets loose. So he's hitting the throttle hard because he knows the guy's getting a run on him. So it pulls the car to the left a little bit, and then. He's too far down the track, but you see the initial contact here, it's netcode. They're not actually even touching. And there's me almost wrecking. Oh my, oh me, oh my. So, <laughs> I see this happen and I'm like, oh, and uh, got real... Real turn to the left because it's banked on the front here, and so it kind of got me almost sideways a little bit. So I had to really adjust how I was taking turns one and two there. And then did it uh, did it take out people on the back? No, we'll see where his car ended up. Anyone run into him? Oh my god, that was close. <laughs> And then I guess he just stays here. So he's driving backwards. He's just at this point. He's this is so premeditated too. He has all this time to reconsider. Look at this. There he goes. That is so bad. Like I said, like, I have my bad days, too. Like, I've done things I'm not proud of, but you just, you can't do that, man. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't want to dwell on it anymore. So, just some wall hits. Other than that, it was a pretty clean race, I think. I don't remember seeing too much. Oh, there was that other wreck at the end, wasn't there? I don't know. How would I even know? I, I was, like, in second and third all the time. I can't see anything out my front windshield. Cool Futurama car in the wall. Very fun, like a lime greenish kind of color. They legitimately don't even remember doing this. Wait, yes, they do. Okay. <laughs> I remember it got so tight, it just didn't turn anymore. Well, hey, if the, the eventual winner is allowed to do it, I can do it at least once. Got. Jeff Gordon's T-Rex car, infamous T-Rex car hitting the wall. <laughs> it's the guy that started third. He ended up in a wreck. And that man upset at someone. A 
Whoa. Oh my god, we're four wide. Oh, it doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. Yikes, that was... Wow. Yeah, four wide. So, start the corner two wide, two by two. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's crazy. And then, uh... You know, 17... I, I mean, how, who do you even call for this one? That's just, everyone ended up in the same spot. 23 could have been a little higher up the track, I guess. Especially if he knows that, you know, he's taking it three wide in the middle of the corner, and then he knows that, I, does he know, though? There's no call for four wide. I don't know. It's just, that was not going to work ever, I think. I think that's the moral of the story. Four wide usually doesn't work. Wow. So, that's what happened to, uh... Jeff Gordon's T-Rex car. Oh no, is it broken now? No, it's not. Hooray. Mm, nine runs over the 11. Oh my gosh. This might have been what the T-Rex guy was yelling about, because the 11 kind of rolls down the track here. Yeah, you can't be hitting the gas. You gotta hold that thing still. Because I think he clipped clipped the guy and gave him some more bad luck. Oh, that's what that hurts. That one hurts a lot. Wheaties get torn up. Oh, that was Hooters. I thought it was a Wheaties car. Same colors. Man. Chain reaction there. Oh yeah, there's the Wheaties car. I knew there was a Wheaties car. Remembered seeing it. Oops. It's the Dale Earnhardt Wheaties car. There's our eventual winner hitting the wall again. I don't even blame the guy for wrecking the other dude. Like, that wasn't his fault. He, could it? Could he have been higher up the track? Yes, but he didn't intentionally wreck him. And he certainly did not deserve what almost came at him. Did come at him and just missed. 17, dragging the wall down straight away. Just gonna do the whole lap that way. Oh no. So that's how this guy ended up over here. <laughs> and it kind of ruined my last uh, ditch effort. Like I said before, I even tried it. It wasn't going to work. He was gonna get the run up the high side. But I at least wanted to try. So I was gonna try the slide jump on him, but then I see a car stopped up here and I'm like, oh no, I've gotta give the one room. I can't do a slide job here. Like, I've got to give him room to get down, so I, you know, I have to just hold the bottom line rather than doing, like, a slide job. I probably could have gotten away with it, maybe? But, like I said, he was just going to cross me over. He's got better tires than me. It didn't matter. That was just for fun, essentially, at that point. See if I could get it done. But, to be safe, I held the bottom line, and I got the spot I was going to get anyway. Which is P3, which I'm very happy with. We didn't get taken out by a guy exacting revenge. <sighs> I just, for a second here. And I've dwelled on it a lot already. But, I just want to... Okay, so that guy passes me at some point. There he goes. What lap was it? There it is. Yeah, I wonder. So... He corrects him there and then comes around here. Let's imagine for a second if he successfully hits him. Imagine that he doesn't turn far enough to the left. He hits him there. They bounce off. There's probably a wall of cars here. Maybe I get around, but look at all these people coming. All these people's races you could ruin because you can't not have a tantrum. Like, Jesus, man. Okay. That's it. Focus in on the positives. We got P3. Very happy with that. First race in about a week, so... Good. Um, killed the tires, but... Had a fun race with the one. Five. Got the win. Held, hung with them for a little bit. But, uh... I could probably stand to save tires a little bit better. I don't know. It wasn't too bad, but... 
Uh, I'm going to go protest someone. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. I will see you next time.